Hi, I'm Lara Diaz, originally from England, but I've been in Namibia for the last 14 years. Um, um, historically, did silversmithing as a hobby, and that's turned into doing some printing last year. And so I've used Tulip Hamway to explore some of the printing techniques and a combination of different methods, and using coloured inks, using embossing, and a variety of different uh, media and methods of printing. So my medium is um, printing and I brought a press along with me this time so that um, both myself and other people can use a full printing kind of experience. Um, mostly I'm using Perspex, I'm etching into the Perspex because I'm also cutting it out to make um, shapes so that the etching plate is not classic rectangle or square but either circular or oval or like a tree shape or different shapes. Um, embossing, I'm using Perspex and cardboard embossing plates, lime, so no ink, just to create a bit of a texture and a picture in the paper without any ink on it. Um, and I'm using plants and leaves, um, both in the leaf, to leave a pattern of the leaf, and then I use the leaf upward to make a, a print of the leaf itself. Um, I tested out a bit of lino and I saw lots of people doing cardboard printing so the printer's been, the press has been well used um, and there's been lots of great techniques being used which has been really exciting. So what I enjoyed most was um, having lots and lots of time to play around and test lots of different things I've been thinking about but never had the time to do. Um, I haven't had the press, I got the press two days before the workshop, so um, I've never been able to have my own press to fiddle around for hours, so that was quite a lot of fun. I enjoyed watching the other printers and I did some collaborations and that was really fun to see how other people are working um, and to test out different mediums and the impact on the paper and the ink. Um, I also did a small sculpture and that was fun just to be to making something 3D as well as 2D. Um, and again, that's something I just never get time for normally, but the two Pamela gave us lots and lots of time and lots of inspiration and lots of resources, so yeah, it was a privilege to have the time and be indulged to that extent so we could um, produce whatever we felt like. It was really amazing. Um, in terms of media, um, I was using Perspex a lot, which is amazingly flexible and you can cut it and you can um, scrape it. Um, but also it's, for embossing it's quite tough and I think some of my embossings was a bit hard and I've used cardboard before to have more flexibility so the embossing some of them were kind of ripping at the edges so it's Perspex getting the most out of the media but also adjusting for its kind of sharp edges. Um, the metal work was also challenging, the kind of the welding didn't quite go as planned. Um, the electricity and the power made it all a bit of a challenge but um, I really like the 3D element as well, and I think I would have done probably more if it was slightly easier to deal with that, but um, that's just one of the challenges. But um, yeah, I think I got through quite a lot. I'm really happy with what I came out with. Um, I think challenges are part of the process anyway of um, learning more and testing. I think my highlight was um, working with lots of other people and observing the artistic process in lots of different media. So we're seeing the sculpture come out of the wood and the stone, seeing paintings emerge layer by layer. Um, and for me, I wanted to do this nine disc printing, which I finally managed in the end. So I think seeing everyone reach the finale and the outcome of their um, piece of work was really amazing.